Hello friends, welcome to yet another tech tutorials with Mobisoft. In this tutorial, I will show you how to run the amazing Comfy UI software on cheap GPU instances from RunPod. We will see how to use different prompts to create awesome realistic images using Comfy UI. So before we get into the long and tedious process of setting up Comfy UI, let's see what we will be able to achieve at the end of this tutorial. So here is the prompt. A monkey dressed in a three-piece suit, sitting in an office with cigar in his mouth. Let's cue the prompt. It will go through various stages. And we will receive our output image. Look at the clarity, detail and the color of the image. Awesome, right? So now let us see how to set up Comfy UI on the RunPod. Log in to your RunPod account. Go to Pods. And click on the Deploy button. Now we need to decide a data center for our pod. Let's select CA-MTL-1. We need to create a network volume in this data center. Let's give Mobisoft as the name for the volume and set size for 120 GB. Create the volume. The volume is ready. Now we need to select it and deploy our pod. We need to change the template. Choose PYTorch 2.4.0. Edit the template. Set the container disk to 100 GB. And let's expose the port 4000. It will be used for Comfy UI. If you are getting the Start Jupyter Notebook option as checked, deselect it as we don't need it and deploy the pod. Now the pod is being created. Let's wait for the connect button to be available. It's ready now. We want to connect using SSH. For that, we need our SSH key to be configured. Go to the settings section, SSH public keys and add your SSH public key there. Copy the command. Open the terminal and connect to the instance. Let's go to the workspace folder. This is where our disk is mounted. Let's create a Comfy UI directory. Go inside the directory and create a models directory. Create a checkpoints directory. Go inside that and download the Flux Channel model. All these commands and paths are available in the tutorial attached with this video. Please check the video description for the same. This file is big, so let's open a new terminal. And while it downloads, we can start some other downloads too. Create content directory. Go inside that directory. Run apt update. Then clone the Comfy UI source code. Go inside the Comfy UI folder. Create a Python virtual environment. Activate it. And install all the dependencies required using the pip command.
Now go to the custom nodes and clone the Comfy UI Manager. That is also done. Now let's download some more models. First we will download the clip models. So we create the clips directory. Go to that directory and download the model. These are two models that need to be downloaded. I have fast forwarded the process. Next we need to download the VAE model. Let's go to the directory and download it. That is also done. Now let's download the control net. So that is also done. So these are the model files that we have downloaded. Some of them are pretty big. This one is 9.2 GB. The last one flush Chanel model that is 17 GB. Now copy these models to the required places in the Comfy UI directory. Let's use rsync command because it gives us progress. The command is not there so let's install it first. Now it should be available. So we are copying the models from the network disk to the container disk. This way when we delete the container the models will still be available on the network disk. The final file is quite big so it takes some time. Now let's go to the comfy UI folder. and start Comfy UI on port 4000. Now let's wait for the port 4000 to be ready. It's ready. Let's open it. It takes few seconds to load. The interface is ready now. By default, the workflow is for a stable diffusion model. A stable diffusion model takes both positive and negative prompts. In this tutorial, we are trying flux model. Flux models only take positive prompts. So let's download one workflow as an image. I have given the URL for this image in the attached tutorial. Please check the description for the same. Actually these workflows are saved as metadata in the PNG file itself. We can drag and drop this PNG file on Comfy UI interface and the workflow will be loaded. So here is the default workflow for a Flux model, specifically Flux Chanel model. Let's select the model and queue the prompt. And we should have our default flux image, which is a galaxy inside a bottle.
now we can delete the container so that we are not build for it next time when we need it again we can select the same network volume do all the same settings again container disk 100 gb expose port 4000 set the overrides disable jupiter run it again let's wait for the pod to be ready we can again connect with ssh the pod is ready and as you can see all the models that we downloaded before are available for us the main reason we installed comfy ui on the container disk is that container disk is very fast we keep our models on the network disk and on the new container creation we set up comfy ui which is pretty quick and copy all the models from the network directory that's it for this tutorial If you have any questions please post them in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible Thank you bye for now see you soon